My name is Tim Masood. I'm the CEO at Pedalite Trailers, and we're here at the PRI show in Indianapolis, Indiana. What makes this year even more special than normal is this is our 50th anniversary of Pedalite Trailers. I always say when people ask about Pedalite Trailers, I can summarize it very quickly. There's very few trailers that have a 10 year warranty and built by a company that's been around 50 years. That should tell anybody everything about our trailers. Here at the PRI show this year for 2023, we brought two trailers. We brought our top of the line NASCAR transporter. This transporter is actually one of our clients. Transporter is Tony Stewart, Stewart Hot Racing. And then we have our new model 4410 that we're showcasing. We're kind of calling it our mini transporter. The new changes in the transporters is really in the technology. Uh, there's over a mile of Cat 5 or Cat 6 cabling inside of that. The technology is different and being lightweight. That's a new feature too is obviously using materials, more composites, more aluminum and keeping them even lighter because they do load them up to the max. The storage inside the transporters, basically you got to remember it's a whole team that's there. So everybody needs a place for their stuff. That's number one. So the center of the transporter actually is even loaded down with the pit carts and and toolboxes and everything they need. So it's not only storage upstairs for the cars, obviously, downstairs for all the tools and equipment they would need, all their personal gear, all their computer data, but also the tool and pit box goes in the center of the unit. So the 4410 is actually a revamped model that we had. We've just taken it to the next level. The goal is to make it the, the, the downsized, smaller version of our transporter, the look, You'll see our new fender design. It's very controversial. There, half the people like it, half don't. But it's extremely functional. And it's got the same cutouts for the airflow above the tire and the brake to cause the cooling. So it has the aqueduct system that goes above the tires to get the airflow above it. The fender is flat instead of bubbled like this traditional fender. Reason being, we're trying to get that width between the wheel wells to give a maximum space between the wheel wells that we can. The side sheets is probably the biggest change we've done. It used to be the side sheets used to lay over each other like this, so there was always a gap created at the top rail and the bottom rail, and you had to fill it with caulk. Well, our guys on the line and our engineers came up with what we call the joggle sheet. So what we do is we take and stamp the very end of the sheet to make a little bit of an S that the next sheet fits perfectly flush. And that flush look is great for detailing, great for painting, really nice for looks, but function is, you're no longer putting a big old caulk gap at the bottom to fill in a, a gap or a caulk gap at the top. It just lays flush against there. One of the other new features in our 4410 model is the cabinetry. We're building the cabinetry exactly the same in-house as we do our NASCAR transporter. That means our base is a framed aluminum, but our fronts are composite doors with a three mil edge banding on the machine that we have in-house and that prevents any chipping or edging. So 10 years from now, they look as beautiful as they do today. There are so many features, I could talk to this whole show on features of inside of there, but the bottom line is we're taking it to the next level and we're trying some new things that may be successful or maybe not, but they'll be talked about in the industry.